Okay, so a lot of you have been asking if I'm doing something different with my hair because a lot of you seem to think that it looks a lot blonder and um, so you're asking if I'm using the same products and all that good stuff. And I am doing a little, I am doing things a little bit differently. I think one of the main things is that I have decided, I decided like about a year and a half ago that I am just not going to put low lights in around fall. I don't know why every single year I'm like, I better put some low lights in, it's fall, you know? And I, I usually like it for maybe three weeks or something like that. I feel like it looks kind of cool and I look a little different. And then <laughs> right around the one month mark, I'm like, I hate it. I want my blonde hair back. So anyway, on my roots, I am still using the Revlon Dark Ash Blonde. Sometimes I alternate with the Medium Ash Blonde. However, I don't think the Medium Ash Blonde lasts as long. Now, um, this is what I put on my white roots. As you can see, my roots are so white. They're not gray, they're not, they're silver. I don't even know if they're silver. I don't even wanna say silver because one time I called them silver and I literally had people in my comment section like saying like, stop trying to act like you're better than everybody else by saying you have silver hair, it's gray. And I'm like, what? It's, I'm thinking of a, like a Crayola box. I'm thinking of the silver and I'm thinking of the gray. If anything, it's probably a white, right? It's not even silver. So anyway, when I put this dark ash blonde on these white roots, this is what it ends up looking like after a few weeks. So all of this down here is just my white roots with this box color on it having grown out. However, now I'm doing things a little bit differently because instead of just waiting for it to fade around my face, I want that color around my face to be blonde immediately. I don't like having dark shades around my face. I just don't think it's complementary to my face. And so what I do, I will take my little packet of bleach and developer and I will just highlight the area around my face. And I do it so, so simply. I know some of you are probably thinking, you know, you color your roots and then bleach it. Why not just, you know, leave that part out and bleach it? I can't you can't bleach white hair. I've never had any success doing it. When I have tried to bleach my white hair in the past, nothing happens at all. It just stays white. It doesn't, doesn't turn blonde or anything like that. It just stays pure white. So I literally have to color it first with this dark ash blonde and then almost remove it and lighten it um, to be this blonde around my face. Now, you're probably thinking it looks a little funny because it looks a little bit darker in this area. The last time that I did my hair, the last time that I did my roots was around two weeks ago. However, I just left this little section out um, because I didn't mind putting the powder, but I felt like my roots had grown in so fast. And especially around here because I used the medium ash blonde last time and I, and I think it just faded too fast. So I went in and I did the area right around here and then everywhere else, but I just left my, out my bangs. So my bang area, the silver hair has grown out quite a bit longer than than the rest. So as you can see, I've got quite a bit of growth there, but then here it's just, it's just a little bit. And that's just because I did it around here and here recently. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm just gonna color my roots really fast. I'm probably gonna speed through this part and then I'm just gonna show you how I lighten the hair around the front. So, so as usual, you just pour the color into the developer, shake it up really good. And then I like to pour it in this little bowl and then apply it with a brush like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I have applied it to all my hair. This looks like an 80s hairdo or something, right? So now I'm just gonna leave it in for about 35 minutes. It says if you have resistant gray hair, which I do, that you're supposed to leave it in at least 35 minutes. And it's always scary because as it sits in your hair longer, it looks like it gets darker and darker and darker. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, how is this even gonna turn out blonde? Because it just looks so dark. I'll show it to you right before I'm about to wash. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. I still have about five more minutes, but I wanted to show you just how dark it ends up getting. Um, it always freaks me out and I've been doing this for like 10 years, like I said. I always think, oh my gosh, it's too dark. I left it in too long. It's not gonna blend, but it does. It ends up actually being this color, you know, as it washes, as it fades, you know, over the weeks and, and months and stuff like that. So, 
So anyway, this is what it looks like at 30 minutes and I'm gonna go wash it out and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is actually the next day. This is how dark my roots look right at the top. And although I don't, like right away, I'm like, wow, this is cool because I like seeing the contrast and kind of matches with my eyebrows a little bit more, even though I don't want it to. <laughs> like I like really, really blonde and really dark eyebrows. Obviously, that's how I've always <laughs> worn stuff. But, um, and I know a lot of you are like, no, you should lighten your eyebrows or you should darken your hair, try to match it. That's just not, that's not the look that I'm going for. I like a major contrast. So anyway, although that looks pretty good, um, I still, there's a definite line of demarcation. See that? It's so funny because it's, it's very obvious in the front, but when I go like this, everything just blends so perfectly. You can't even tell. I mean, I don't know it. I mean, it, I did it yesterday, so you might be able to tell just a little bit, but I'm telling you when that grows out, it turns this color because my hair is naturally so white. So now I just want to go in and highlight the front areas here, mainly just these front areas a little bit right here. And then just in the bang, I'm not going to touch this right here. I don't think I might come back and do it, but, um, cause occasionally I will, but, um, this area right here, my silver hair is so resistant that within a week, this has faded to a really nice blonde that I'm happy with. It's just right here that I really want to see it still very blonde, you know, in my bang area. Those little money pieces, even though the rest of my hair is pretty blonde also. Now, one thing that I wanted to say is that last night I did a really deep conditioning treatment on my hair. This is what I use, and I've been using it for about three years now. I get this in the ethnic section at Walmart. It's about maybe $13 a bottle or whatever, a tube. And um, it is it works better than any salon product that I've ever used. I used to only use Joyco throughout my whole 20s and 30s. And then I've tried other salon products before, but nothing has worked better than this right here. Like I said, I get it in the ethnic section. If you have dry, coarse, frizzy, bleached, aging hair because I'm 50, then you would love this. I feel like it has saved my hair and um, it's just incredible. It is so incredible. So I did a deep conditioning treatment with that last night. And then I also, just in this front area where I'm gonna be bleaching, I also slept in coconut oil. As a matter of fact, it's still in there right now, um, but my hair is so dry. <laughs> and especially because I keep it pretty bleached up front, it's the most dry, you know? So it just kind of drinks that coconut oil right up. And so I still have it in my bang area. I don't have it anywhere else. You, you can't even tell that I have it in there because that's how much my hair just kind of drinks it up. But I like to put it on there because I feel like it kind of protects it a little bit since I'm about to put some bleach on it. So anyway, let's um, jump in and let me show you what I do. So in order to bleach my bangs, you're gonna need a 30 developer like this and then a packet of this. It's called Prism Lights. This is the violet. I also have a blue. They both lift up to five levels, but one um, is supposed to help remove any orange tones, and then the other one helps remove any gold or yellow tones. I typically use the violet. I feel like they both work equally the same, and I feel like I even get the same results. So I just grab, you know, usually whatever they have there. Then you're gonna need a little mixing bowl, a little brush, and maybe a measuring spoon. I don't measure anything. I've been doing this too long, so I just know what consistency to look for. And then just a, a few pieces of foil and a comb. Where is my comb? I'm gonna go get my comb. <laughs> okay, so the way that I separate this out you're gonna need some little clippies also like this. So the first thing I do is I take just a little bitty sliver right here, that's it. And I am going to clip this back. Okay, like that's how thin I'm gonna take it, if you can see how thin that is. And so I'm just gonna hold that over here, and then we're gonna take the same on the other side. Like I said, I have a little widow's peak, so I used to have a much stronger widow's peak than I do now, because obviously our hair thins as we age. Why does everything bad have to happen as we age? Why can't we just, you know, become more wise and more smart and more beautiful? <laughs> Why does it have to be the opposite where we lose Kind of our identities because you know you get you get used to seeing 
the same face in the mirror for, I would say, almost 40 years. Because I feel like things really start to change quickly at around, I would say, age 40. Age 40. Up until then, I was pretty happy with my appearance. And it's funny because after it starts to change, it's not that you want to look 25 again. It's just that you want to look like yourself. <laughs> You're like, oh, I look different. I'm not used to this face. I would like to have my other face back. You know what I mean? It looked a little bit better to me. That's how I felt. And so, and that's how I still feel. You know, everybody's so afraid. I feel like people are so afraid to say that they want to look younger. What is wrong with wanting to look younger? Like literally, what is wrong with that? We liked ourselves. We liked the way we looked when we were younger. Everybody acts like it's such a, you can't say that. Like everybody's afraid to say that. Like if you, if you say that, then, you know, you'll be shunned from, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we'll be shunned from, but I'm here to say, I do want to look younger. I don't, I don't care what anybody thinks about that. So, okay. So this is the area that I highlight. It's that, that's, that's all, that's all I do. Occasionally, once I'm finished, I feel like it might be too dark here. And then sometimes I might add more, but right now we're just going to start with this and I'm going to show you what I do. So now that you have the area separated that you want to highlight. You just want to mix your powder with your developer. You're going to do one scoop of powder to two scoops of developer. And I'm just going to use a teaspoon because I'm just doing such a small little portion. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Then you just mix it together in your bowl and you want it to be the consistency. Like it's not runny but it's not so goopy either. It actually, as it sits, it kind, kind of almost starts to foam up a little bit, um, even if you let it sit for just like five minutes. So this is the consistency that you want, where it just kind of slides, but it's not runny at all. And I went and got a smaller brush because I like to be very, very precise with this area. I don't want there to be a lot of overlapping with my blonde hair because I don't want I don't want to damage it. And you know, I don't want to ruin the integrity of my hair. Okay. So this is all I do. I kind of let those little small baby hairs or whatever stay out. And then I just go like this, as you can see, and I just paint over it. And I don't want to do a lot of overlapping with my blonde hair, but I don't want to not do enough to where there's a line. You know what I mean? A line where I, I've left something out. Just like that. And then you just close your foils. Now I went ahead and just pre folded these foils. I think I'm going to take a little bit more out on this side because this side seemed a lot thicker. Okay, I think that looks even. And then again, I just kind of like let those little ones stay down. And then once, once I fold, fold it like this, I really kind of pull my hair and push it all the way to the top because I want it, I want to get it as close to my roots as possible. And then I just need a little piece. Okay. And sometimes I do like to just take this little section right here and go straight across and get that in there too. So I'm going to do that real fast. And that's it. Those are the only foils that I put in. And oftentimes so that I can see, I just kind of fold them up like this. And now I'm going to go set a timer for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the color and then I'll, we'll see if it's time to, to take it out or not. Okay. So it's been about 11 minutes actually, cause my timer went off and then I went to go put on some music. So let's see what this color looks like. We're going to open the one that we started with first. There it is. Okay. That is a really, really good color. Now I just, at the very last minute, I do kind of bring it down just a little bit, just so it blends and I do that with all of them. Okay. Yeah. You just kind of want to 
let the bleach sit on the other hair just for a minute so that it blends really nicely. Yeah, you see that? It looks like a white color with a hint of purple, and that's the color that you want. I feel like I need a little bit more in this section right here. And y'all, I'm not saying, okay, so just so you know, your hair is not gonna lighten this quickly if you're putting it on brown hair. You know, I put it on previously silver hair that I just put a permanent, you know, I did just put a permanent dye and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, I cannot believe you just put a permanent dye and then did a bleach right afterwards. But so far my hair has not fallen out and I've been doing this for about six months. Every once in a while I'll skip a month and I will just leave the bangs out and not do anything with them at all and then just kind of use a powder to get by. So, so you might wanna use gloves for this part too. So anyway, um, after I do that, I just kind of let it sit like this for just, I don't know, a couple minutes because otherwise it's gonna be real blonde and then, I don't know. So I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute and then I'm just gonna go over to the sink and I just wash out the whole bang area and then deep condition it in the sink with the same stuff. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have washed the product out and I just have some deep conditioner in it right now, the same stuff that I just showed you. And this is the color and it's just, I can tell that it's gonna be absolutely perfect. It blends all the way down. It took 10 minutes and now I'm gonna be light around the front like I want it to be. And so, yeah, let me go rinse it out and dry it and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is how blonde it is immediately after. However, I feel like I need a little bit more blonde right in here. I feel like I'm just really bold on this side. And then I feel like I need a little bit more over here. So I was thinking about maybe doing a little piece like right in here. And I might do a little one maybe right there just to blend it better. So I just took this little piece, another little sliver, right behind the original one just to kind of reinforce the blonde right there. So as you can see, there's the original one, it's still hanging out there. And then I need to do one more little piece. And I do this a lot, like sometimes I'll just do it in stages. Sometimes it takes me like three days to get the hair color that I want. But to me, it's so much more worth it than having to go to a salon. Those types of things give me so much anxiety I, this, it's the reason I don't get my nails done. It's the reason I don't get um, manicures, pedicures, massages. Okay, so here it is. I am back to being nice and blonde around the frame of my face. Now I feel like I did, I think I grabbed a little bit too much hair right there when I added that last, that last little blonde piece. That's gonna bother me. I could use some, I could take some hair powder and just kind of, you know, dull that out a little bit if I wanted to. But you know what, even when I used to go to a professional, there were always times, because I've always been a blonde, that I would get highlights and there might be one chunk that's just so much brighter or blonder than the others, or maybe it looks like it bled through the foil or something like that. So, you know, I'm no professional, but I do make mistakes too. So anyway, this makes me happy because now I don't have to see my face framed by really dark roots. Like I said, I usually do this the next day because I like to do a deep conditioning treatment and then sleep in some coconut oil in my bang area because that's the only place that I'm gonna highlight. But occasionally I have done it just immediately after and um, probably twice I've done it. And I was just on the edge of my seat like, oh my gosh, please don't, please don't let that hair break off. But I'm very careful, as you could see, I'm very careful that I don't overlap the bleach too much. I take it right to the edge. I don't I don't have a lot of breakage. I don't have a lot of, you know, short pieces. I have your typical amount of like baby hair, but my hair is not crunchy or anything like that because I'm really good about the deep conditioning and stuff. Okay, before I close out, I did want to say that if you are not starting with silver white hair like I do, then your results are going to vary and the color might look a lot different, especially if you're bleaching. Like if you're trying to bleach dark roots, whenever I used to bleach my dark roots, I could never have left the bleach on for 10 minutes. And it would have, it would have turned to just an orange color. Um, because I'm so silver now and, and just the way that I do it, I don't know why it just lightens up really, really quickly. So if you are starting with dark roots, you might have to leave it on 20 minutes. Like when I used to have dark roots, 
if I wanted to use the bleach, I would use the same bleach, but I would leave it on for like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes even. And I would sometimes even use a hairdryer to heat the outside of the foils so that it would process faster and get, you know, a lot blonder. So um, I feel like now that my hair is white, it is so much easier for me to do this. Like if I'm not having to set up and record and mess with all that, I mean, I get it done. It takes me, it still takes me like, I don't know, a few hours because obviously it's a two-step process, but it doesn't take me any more time than it would if I went to a salon, you know what I mean? And so I just love it. I love it. I feel like it came out so perfectly. And I don't think if you saw me out in public, you would be like, she box dyes her hair, you know? Um, which I guess this the blonde part isn't box dyed, but but the rest is. But even that, I mean, look at how pretty that looks. That that all, I feel like it just blends so perfectly with my roots. I hope that I was showing you my roots because I can't see what I was showing you. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. As usual, I will have links to everything that I showed you in this video in the description box below. Don't forget to check out the shampoo and conditioner. It's a fortifying shampoo and conditioner. And I'm telling you, it is better than any shampoo and conditioner I've ever used, but you will love it. I swear it has saved my hair because not only do I, you know, color and bleach my hair myself, I also straighten my hair at least three times a week. And all of that is so damaging, but I feel like my hair is in pretty decent condition uh, considering, you know, all the things that I do it. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate your time. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and hopefully I will see you back here next week.